hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to make this how to grapple an enemy character like this so as you can see when we enter the grappling mode two characters stay in the grab plane uh, and if i press e again they will break the grapple so uh, i'm going to use this as a uh, i'm going to implement, implement this as a beat up game a side scrolling beat up game so yeah first part would be this so after that we will do see how to do like punches kicks head bashes and other stuff uh, as well so let's see how to do this in the first episode and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for the support okay so let me create a new project Beat up. I don't need starter content. Desktop console uh, settings. Hardware targeting and let's select uh, side scroller, not 2D. This side scroller. Scroller. Great project. Right. So here is the project. We can do jumping, running, and that's all. Okay. All right. Right. Uh, now I have a couple of beat up grappling animations that I need to import. Let me import them. Just drag and drop. That's all the skeleton I'm gonna select mannequin and import all right so these are the animations I have imported this is grappling action attacker right so this grappling is start Gra grappling headlock all right headlock victim head mm, grappling execution knee attacker victim all right so we have all the required animations now first let me create a folder bp so i'll put every all the blueprints related things i created in this folder and uh, here uh, I have done this in some of other tutorials as well for example the katana series and also the combat finisher series so here I'm going to create a new structure to hold animation data so beat up montages now let's call it beat up anim data so here in the type of animation montages we need first attack montage and then victim montage because uh, when we work with uh, synchronized animations that will know two characters uh, there are two animations that needs to work together the attackers animation and victims animation so we need another variable a float that defines the distance between two characters when those two characters perform these two animations distance okay all right now save this now let's go back here so we need a victim character so let's browse to the side scroller character and create a child uh, I'll call it enemy 
and we need some visual distinction so let me create an instance of this material here we have the body color let's make it red and assign for the enemy right uh, now right now now let's define a couple of inputs project settings input and action mappings so here we only have the jump mm, let's define grab as the key for the grab I'll use E and another one punch I'll use G for the kick I'll use J You can use any key you want. Now with the character. Mm. Right. Right. Uh, now I'll add an opponent or enemy character here as well. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. towards the player character right now we need to uh, make this character grab now to do that first uh, the player character needs to determine or need a reference to the enemy character so to create that in the in here I'll add a collider box collision in front of the character like this let's make it like this and then if uh, this box is overlapped with another character this character will register itself as the opponent of the overlapped character so in turn the enemy uh, will also do the same because enemy is inherited from this side scroller character now to handle that communication let's define a blueprint interface bpi character register for hand right now as an input we need an actor reference let's call it opponent and the type of actor and also another function release opponent here also we need the same actor reference I'm gonna call this one uh, when a character leaves that box all right now here select the box on component begin overlap on the other character call register opponent and as the reference give a reference to self that means this actor and also on component end overlap on the other character call release opponent so that means this 
certain character is no longer within the range of uh, this overlap character oh this should be opponent oh, yeah. okay now let's implement those two functions uh, first we need to implement the interface here ppi character and the interface register opponent promote this opponent to a variable and on release opponent if this opponent is same as the opponent reference we already have because there can be situations where multiple opponents are overlapping so we need to consider that situations as well so if this is the case if it is true we can set opponent as null right mm. now let's add a print and print the name of this registered opponents just to check if these functions are working It is okay. Okay, cool. Now let's implement the grabbing mechanism. Grab. Okay, so for that we should have a valid opponent. We can do it by checking is valid on opponent now let me go back and check the grabbing animation grab plane action this is attacker this is grappling start right now uh, when after this animation is executed then we need to uh, and uh, play this grappling loop animation so when both characters are locked into each other let me just drag and drop these animations into the level and preview uh, one of the anim characters should rotate 180 degrees to face the other character and the distance in between the characters should be like let's see yeah this distance should be fine now if I simulate It looks like this there is a slight snapping in the animation but that's fine for now we can fix those issues later okay right now let's create montages grab an action attacker create any montage and grab plain action loop victim montage this should be looping <coughs> right grappling rope 
attack <coughs> this also needs to be a loop in montage okay did it rotate that's fine okay and now first in order to support animation montage we have to make sure that we have enabled the default slot in the anim graph let's see uh, I'll add it not for these jumps but oh yeah maybe here default slot okay now we can play these montages we just created because they are played in default slot here slot is selected here default group no oh, here okay all right by default you will have the default slot right now here I'm gonna uh, grab plane action attack so this is where the graph plane starts okay so let's add a montage notifier here maybe somewhere over here right then let's play that animation montage this in this node now as the montage crap in action crap plane action attack select that right okay shall we test it right now if I press E here oh wait I'm in simulation mode right now if I press E here ah, still it happens something happens why how do I have a reference in the opponent oh I get a reference even though I am not in the range of this soul let me move it further back still I get how is that uh, actually I think uh, the character itself overlap here is that what happening yeah let's check <coughs> if this is uh, we need to make sure this is not equal to self then only the opponent should be registered now let's see okay no overlapping right now if I go here now we get the overlap right but the opponent is not reacting yet right uh, now in order to play the victims animations and the loop in part I'll create a variable here using the data type I defined before which is animate beat up animator right I'll name this crap play crap plane 
any okay let's define a category as well so that when we whenever we have other animation data we can put it under this category right now let's compile and here attacker montage we can select grappling rope attacker and the victim montage grappling loop victim and the distance uh, it would be like as we tested before 95 yeah 95 that's what I what we tested value here okay right now here uh, we also added a montage notifier so in the on notify begin let's play montage now get the uh, reference to this grappling anim and split for the attacker here we can use this animation and here uh, we need another function interface function to communicate to the opponent which animation to play so play montage as an input I'll add animon touch right now let's implement it in the side scroller character itself but please if you don't remember note that I have extended the enemy also as the child class of the side scroller so when I implement an event here it will be available for the enemy as well play montage oh no play montage Now here we can use it. <laughs> the opponent play montage. Also, we need to make sure the characters are moving into proper direction proper distance between the two characters so here we can get the opponent location and also we can get the forward vector and we can multiply the forward vector with the grappling animation distance so uh, this character should be away from the opponent with uh, this amount of distance so we can find out where the this attacker should be using this simple calculation and we can call on the capsule component right is it becoming messy <laughs> let me collapse this part locate character right so this is the new location but the location rotation should not be changed so get at uh, rotation 
and give it save for shortest part is in is out right maybe 0.4 seconds shall we test <coughs> okay it feels like the enemy is a bit delayed actually yeah mm. maybe let's move the montage notifier here right that's better because we don't have an animation that the victim enters into the grappling state right uh, now here we have grappling throw victim and grappling throw attacker so with this let's see how to break the grappling loop so let's first simulate these two animations here so that we can find out what's the desired distance this is for 70 310 mm. Let's make this minus 400. Seems fine. Right. Okay. And also I should enable root motion here. Oh no, root motion is not really required because there is no movement in the root. Okay, right. So let's create two montages. I throw in attacker and throw in victim. Now let's remove these two, or put them aside. So uh, we should. Uh, so the way I'm planning to do is, if I again press E, the character should break the grappling. So to do that, first I need to know if we are already in the grappling mode. Let's add a variable. Okay. Set grappling to true I'll collapse this otherwise this would be too big <coughs> let's add a comment also so and when we zoom this out can clearly see what's happening there yeah great uh, now here if we have an opponent and let's have a branch if we are grappling we should break if we are not grappling we should enter the grappling mode Right, if we are in the grappling mode, <coughs> now we need animations for the grappling. So let me duplicate this grappling. Let's call it grappling break. 
for the attacker montage I'm gonna select uh, grappling throwing attacker and for the victim montage I'm gonna select grappling throwing victim the distance 90 work for us in between right so here touch this is for the local character or this character animation is right plane break split attacker and get the up nut play montage here use the victim montage and also we need to make sure locate character is called uh, but we can reuse this uh, piece of code so yeah let's promote this to a macro let me expand this here and convert it to a macro collapse to macro let's call it locate character oh, locate doesn't seem correct position character if I call it locate it sounds like mm, pointing out to the character like where he is distance okay you can use this distance And also before we do that now we have to set grab play mode as false okay shall we test oh we are in the simulation mode okay now if I press E again So since we didn't have root motion here, you can slightly notice uh, the red character's foot is sliding. Uh, I will try to fix it if I get a, if I am able to get a root mo proper root motion implemented animation. Okay, and also I think it would be better. If we increase the animation speed slightly, yeah. But uh, where should I do that? We can control the speed here simply. Let's try 1.2. Now, let's promote this to a variable play rate yeah it's 1.2 and let's use it here everywhere basically Why it is paused? All right. I guess 
the for the character play rate is not at zero see that's the issue for the enemy character it is not properly inherited so but now it should be fine okay all right and with that i'm going to stop this episode and in the next episode let's see how to do headlocks or kicks or punches or head bashes stuff like that while we are in the grappling mode and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club and also the project files will be available for the download see you in another episode goodbye